In an astonishing development, Boeing Defense has just released the first ever footage of its Orca Extra Large Unmanned Undersea Vehicle, or XLUUV, in action. This 80 ton autonomous Titan, the US Navy's pioneer in unmanned undersea warfare, is undergoing rigorous underwater tests, marking a seismic shift in maritime defense and exploration. The Orca, with its autonomous capabilities, is designed to redefine naval warfare, offering a future where sailors are spared from the terrors of the deep sea. Capable of operating for months at sea and launching and recovering without the help of support ships, the Orca is a testament to the leaps in naval technology. However, the waters of innovation are far from calm. China, in a move shrouded in mystery, has been testing its own massive unmanned submarines in the contested waters of the South China Sea. Defense analysts have noted striking similarities between the Chinese XLUUVs and the U.S. Navy's Boeing Orca, hinting at a brewing competition in this new era of undersea warfare. China's XLUUVs, twice the size of their previous models, have been in the water since 2021, potentially indicating a technological lead. These vessels are large enough to carry smaller UUVs, sensors, and naval mines, and seem to be designed primarily for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance purposes. The stage is set for a tense showdown in the depths of the world's oceans. Adding fuel to the potential fire, some models of the Orca have now been spotted with heavyweight torpedo tubes and bomb bay doors. An old quest. Unmanned submarines, known as Autonomous Underwater Vehicles, or AUVs, and Remotely Operated Vehicles, or ROVs, have been game changers in underwater exploration and naval operations since they first made a splash. The mid-20th century bore witness to the burgeoning interest in unmanned submarines. The first significant implementation was in the 1950s, with the U.S. Navy's creation of the Special Purpose Underwater Research Vessel, the SPURV. The SPURV had a mission collect meteorological data from uncharted ocean depths, unveiling valuable information regarding temperature and salinity patterns. Throughout the Cold War, the development of unmanned submarines accelerated as the U.S. and USSR raced for dominance in naval warfare technology. Their applications extended beyond exploration, entering the realms of mine detection and surveillance. The pivotal moment in the journey of unmanned submarines arrived in 1985, Robert Ballard deployed Argo, a type of ROV used as a towed camera system, in his quest to locate the wreckage of the Titanic. The successful discovery of the historic cruiser that same year underscored the potential of AUVs in deep-sea exploration. As the 21st century unfolds, advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics propel AUVs forward. Their utility is expanding to encompass fields such as pipeline inspections in the oil and gas industry, the study of marine life, underwater archaeology, and climate change research. But now, the technology is poised to leap beyond surveillance and mine detection into a new realm, autonomous offensive capabilities. The unveiling of Boeing's latest development hints at the dawn of a fresh epoch in naval warfare, where unmanned warships and submersibles hold the reins of power. reaching new depths. In September 2017, the U.S. Navy ignited a new phase in its XLUUV program, a venture aimed at forging an autonomous undersea system capable of months of independent operation. Lockheed Martin and Boeing, two industry giants, were chosen to shoulder this revolutionary task. Both were awarded design contracts, with Lockheed's valued at $43.1 million and Boeing's at approximately $42.3 million. A fleet of nine state-of-the-art vehicles is expected to be produced under this program. Boeing landed a $43 million contract in February of 2019 during the program's second phase, securing the task to construct, test, and deliver four XLUUVs and corresponding support elements. A month later, a contract amendment added $46.7 million to the tally, calling for an additional prototype and raising the overall contract value to a hefty $274 million. Boeing's successful design, the Orca, draws its blueprint from the Echo Voyager, a fully autonomous XLUUV introduced in March 2016. Several configurations were rigorously tested and refined, 
enhancing the platform's performance. Following initial sea trials in 2017, a second round of testing occurred in 2019. The model is uniquely equipped for prolonged missions. Fitted with a hybrid rechargeable power system and a versatile payload bay, it operates independently for months, even without support ships for launch or recovery. The Orca's modular structure, designed with an open architecture, allows for easy reconfiguration, ensuring it stays at the forefront of technological advancement. Anticipating the evolving threats of a rapidly changing environment, the XLUUV can respond with a suite of features, including guidance, control, navigation capabilities, and future weaponry interfaces for upgrades. The submarine's mission capabilities are comprehensive. Journey to operational areas, patrol these zones, communicate, deploy payloads, and return home. And it achieves all this without human intervention in its proximity. Completing its arsenal is an active buoyancy control system. This system facilitates autonomous buoyancy control, seafloor mooring, and trim control at both ends, making the Orca a formidable addition to the U.S. Navy's undersea fleet. Testing the waters. In April 2023, the Navy's first Orca vehicle slipped beneath the waves to commence its at-sea testing. Yet, it wasn't until July that the public got a first glimpse of the uncrewed submarine in action. Boeing Defense shared a video on Twitter showcasing the Orca's successful operation, marking a monumental step in naval warfare technology. In its preliminary testing phases, the Orca not only met but exceeded the performance expectations set by the Navy. It features a modular payload bay with a hefty 8 tons dry weight capacity, energized by an 18 kilowatt battery. The bay is highly versatile, equipped to handle internal and external payloads, and designed with interfaces ready for current and future requirements. The Orca can also be fitted with sophisticated sonar systems, like the Raytheon Prosus PS60-6000 Synthetic Aperture Sonar, which will provide a detailed ocean floor map. It cruised at speeds varying between a minimum of 2.5 knots and a maximum of 8 knots, offering an operational range of an impressive 6,500 nautical miles. When the onboard lithium-ion battery is near depletion, the Orca automatically surfaces, raising its mast and activating diesel-powered generators. During the testing, the Maritime Undersea Team continued to navigate through a risk reduction test plan while concurrently manufacturing and assembling the second Orca vehicle. The Orca's advanced autonomy allows it to operate independently at sea for months. This autonomy presents a more economical and mission-capable solution than traditional UUVs. However, not all news regarding the Orca XLUUV is positive. A report issued by the U.S. Government Accountability Office on September 28, 2022, stated that the Orca XLUUV was running over its initial cost estimate by 64% and was facing a delay of at least three years. It seems the Navy had failed to establish a solid business case, including reliable cost and schedule estimates. Thus, the timely delivery of the vehicles to the fleet became a concern as the XLUUV project remained in the research and development stages. Future. The relentless ticking of the clock and the sharp scrutiny of the U.S. Government Accountability Office have loaded the ORCA team with mounting pressure. The project's development and testing phases are stretching beyond the original timeline, creating tension and uncertainty. Yet, the U.S. Navy finds itself in a situation where abandoning the project isn't an option. The race for unmanned submarine technology isn't a solo sprint, but a global relay. Powerhouses like Russia, China, and Japan are also crafting their XLUUV blueprints, propelling their projects forward with heightened urgency. While the specifics of these other projects remain under wraps, one particular graphic employed by the U.S. Navy to depict an armed enemy XLUUV is notably revealing. It portrays a vessel resembling the Orca class, equipped with a payload module and bomb bay doors. A triple-tiered array of heavyweight torpedo tubes is positioned inside the payload bay, prepared to launch their lethal cargo through the bomb bay doors. As the world vies for a breakthrough in unmanned combat submarine technologies, the U.S. Navy holds fast to the Orca project. It's not just about bringing a project to fruition. It's about securing America's place at the vanguard of XLUUV technology. The stakes are high, the race is on, and the future of naval warfare hangs in the balance. 
Thank you for watching this dark footage video. For more fascinating photos and videos revealing extraordinary combat exploits or the innovation of military technology, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Check out our other Dark Documentaries channels if you want more military stories. We publish new videos regularly, so stay tuned.